Welcome back everyone, I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to transfer photos from any Android device to any MacBook, iMac, Mac machine, whatever you want to do without any wires, without you know Bluetooth or anything like that. All you need is an internet connection, which is the very basic necessity. I'm sure if you have a MacBook, you probably have a Wi-Fi signal running around. Now this is a really easy process. You can even transmit videos or really any other files for the most part from an Android to a MacBook, which is really cool. Now we're going to be using a website which is called snapdrop.net. Now if any of you guys are familiar with AirDrop, you know the little thing that Apple made where you can wirelessly send files super easily? This is pretty much the same thing, but instead of using Bluetooth and all that, we're going to be using Wi-Fi. So what we want to do is we want to go on our Android device and we want to open up snapdrop.net. And I'll go ahead and leave the website link down below. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I've been using the website. It's pretty good. And you want to make your way over to your Mac machine. So whether it's a MacBook, iMac, Mac mini, whatever, you want to go ahead and open up the exact same website on that machine as well. And you want to make sure that you're logged into the same exact Wi-Fi. As long as you're logged into the same Wi-Fi, you will pretty much see that on both devices, you will basically see the machine on both. You'll see like a user on one end and your user on your end. So as long as you're the same person, you'll be able to transmit the data back and forth. So all you need to do at this point is go ahead and click on that user on your Android machine and you'll pretty much get a little pop-up that says allow files, whatever, the, whatever. You want to go ahead and allow all photos or whatever the little option is. It is a little bit different on each Android device, so I'm just kind of saying it how it was on my Samsung. And what you want to do at this point, go ahead and select the files that you want to transfer over. You should be able to open up the Photos app and click on whatever photos you want. And in this case, I was able to click on the photos and the videos or whatever I chose. And then at this point, you want to go and click Select and click Done. And you will see that the photos will pretty much be sent over to your iMac and you can go ahead and download it as a zipped file. Now this is really cool because you don't have to know if it's a single photo it won't be zipped but I think if it's more than one photo it'll be like a zipped file or something and this is something that's really really awesome because you don't have to constantly be sending yourself like an email back and forth with all your file attachments or put it on Google Drive. You can simply just take it from one machine over the other and transmit it over your network. Now you can also do the same thing vice versa. You can select any files you want to on your MacBook, your iMac, whatever and you can go ahead and send it over to your Android machine as long as they're you know acceptable files. I think most people are probably going to use this for photos and videos and different things like that and this is exactly how to do it for that. So to kind of recap the whole entire process, you go on snapdrop.net on both your iMac and your Android device. You want to go ahead and go on your Android device, click on the user, select whichever files you want to transmit over, go into your other machine and you'll pretty much be able to get those files in a zipped format. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really discount, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else, love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.